let's learn how to count so we have a three digit number that is made up using three randomly selected digits from zero to nine no digit may be repeated and 11.3.1 is saying let's determine the total number of possible three digit numbers greater than 100 that can be formed so we have three spaces to fill because it is a three digit number we need all possible combinations that are greater than 100 so what does that restriction greater than 100 tell us it tells us that zero cannot occupy the first position if one occupies the first position up to nine then it is okay that digit will be greater than 100 because repetition is not allowed so how many possible numbers can occupy the first spot nine possible digits can occupy the first spot one up to nine the zero cannot occupy that spot so now that out of our 10 digits from zero to nine we've exhausted one so how many digits can occupy the second spot nine digits can occupy the second spot because out of the 10 we have only exhausted one when we occupied the first spot and then on the third spot eight digits can possibly occupy that third spot because we don't have any special restriction this will give you 648 possible three digit numbers that are greater than 100 let's look at 11.3.2 determine the total number of possible three digit numbers both even and greater than 600 that can be formed so we need all possible three digit numbers that are greater than 600 and are even so let's break that down what is greater than 600 implies it implies that on the first position we can only have six seven eight or nine because if a number start with six and no repetition is allowed then it will be greater than 600 because we cannot have two zeros so if we start with six seven eight and nine we don't have any issues and what does it imply when you say that uh, the three digit number must be even think about this 403 it is an odd number why is it an odd number because it ends with the odd digit so for a number to be even it just needs to end with an even digit nothing else matters that is why 902 is even it starts with an odd number but then just because it ends with an even number the entire number becomes even so we need an even number to occupy this very last spot and here on the first spot we need a number which is six or greater than six but there's a conflict of interest so on the first spot we can occupy that spot with either six seven eight or nine these are the numbers that can occupy the first spot and then on the last spot we can occupy that with zero two four six eight even numbers but i want you to realize something six and eight can occupy the first spot but then they can also occupy the last spot because they are even so we have to break down our problem into two in the following way so let's say that the numbers that can occupy uh, the first spot are odd let's make that as assumption first well in probability we don't make any assumptions but then we're gonna account for that assumption let's just make it for the time being so let's say uh, out of six seven eight and nine the odd numbers are gonna occupy the first spot so we have two odd numbers which are seven and nine six and eight are even so we've occupied the first spot with either seven or nine and now let's come to the last spot we need the last spot to be occupied by an even number well if the first spot we assuming that is getting occupied by either seven or nine then we still have our five even numbers that are intact that can possibly occupy the last spot so we have five right there so out of 10 digits that we have we have used the two so we are left with eight this is the possible ways if 
either seven or nine occupies the first spot but we also know that six and eight can occupy that first spot so let's go ahead and calculate uh, the total number of possible ways when that is the case so six and eight it's only two digits right so we have two digits that are fighting for that first spot multiplied by so we have five even numbers we're saying that one of them is going to occupy the first spot so on the last spot we are only left with four even numbers so we're gonna have four right there and just like uh what we did here on the first part of our solution we have exhausted two digits we are left with eight so eight will get in there and the answer i'm getting here is 144.